Well, hello, my fellow dragons. I am the Blue Dragon, and this week I wanted to give you guys an update on what is going on in my life, some Doctor Who news, and a new book. Now, for those of you who might notice by my uh, background behind me here, I am back at school. This is Liberty University. I apologize for being absent last week. I was sorting out school craziness and nonsense and such. I'm actually recording this on Tuesday evening. I would record it on Wednesday, except that I have uh, my classes don't get out until 4 o'clock, and then by the time I get back, I <laughs> not barely motivated to make a video, so I'm doing it now. Otherwise, if I didn't make it now, then it would just be trying to cram it in after everything else, and it would just be... Ah, that, ah. Anyway, um, I um, wanted to tell you guys a little bit about, uh, first off, very important, earth-shaking, Doctor Who-related news that happened around last week. For those of you who are unaware, Stephen Moffat, the head writer and producer for Doctor Who for a fairly long time up until now, for several years, um, he is going to be retiring after the next season. Now, for some people who, who love Moffat, I, I can understand that, I respect that, but I will say, in my opinion, he was not the best episode writer. He, he proved he could write good episodes in the episode, um, Heaven Sent, as an example. Um, uh... Heaven Sent was an amazing episode, and that partially restored my faith in him, but then he wrote Hellbent, which, for a finale, kind of dropped down a few pegs, and I, I, I had accepted it. It was a, it was a pretty good finale, but I, I think it could have been better, and I think that the, the one preceding it would have possibly made a better finale for the season. But, yes, he will be retiring after this next season, and the head writer position will be taken over by the same man who wrote the Broadchurch screenplay, wrote and produced the Broadchurch screenplay, which I, um, it's, what well, screenplay-wise, I'm not sure if he wrote the screenplay, but he wrote, he was the head writer for Broadchurch. And while I had never seen Broadchurch, the actual British version of it, I did see Grace Point, the, the American version, which also had David Tennant in it, just like, uh, just like the uh, Broadchurch did, but um, that is on my list to see at some point. But that gives me great hope for the series because Moffat has been slowly losing points in my book for a long time now, and I I will say that I I am I'm appreciating the fact that he he will soon be be gone. But um, I am not I am not uh, making any predictions at this time. I am going to withhold my judgment until I see uh, the the efforts of this new writer, and we will see what happens. Shifting notes, um, I actually, here on my campus, I have a bookstore, and for somebody like me, as many of you know, that is a terribly dangerous thing, because, of course, now that there is a bookstore on campus, that is where I want to spend all my time, and all my money, and all my resources, because I want to buy every single book, but the school helps you out with that, because they give you, according to your plan when you're here, you get a certain amount of cash to be used uh, on your on your school card, your school ID. You can swipe it through different things and pay for pay for different things, including the bookstore. And I realized um, recently they won't take it away from you if you do not use it at the end of the semester. So I've been trying to save mine up so I can go to the bookstore at the end of the semester and buy books. Now I kind of already started ish. I I treated myself to to um to a new book, which I'm going to show you guys right now. It is this one, Five Kingdoms by Brandon Mull. For those of you who can see that, apologies for the light here, that should work, Five Kingdoms. Five Kingdoms by Brandon Mull. This book, uh, I, ha I know nothing at all about it. I have never read the series. This is the first one in the whole series. But uh, the fact that it was written by Brandon Mull, that is all I need to know because he wrote such amazing books as Fable Haven, and the Candy Shop War series. So, um, I have nothing at all to give me any reason to doubt him in this new series, and the fact that it is a new series from one of my favorite authors of all time, it gives me great hope, which this will probably be my next book when I finish the one I'm doing. Um, and so the long and short of it is, that is my life update. Um, I will be back next week, if I can help it at all, and... 
Uh, tell me, uh, tell me what you thought of this video down in the comments here. Don't forget to like, favorite, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Uh, tell me what you want me to make next. Tell me what you um, within the confines of my channel. Um, actually, it's not confined, but within the within the guidelines I set for which are in my title screen, you will see. And tell me what you want to see next in the comments. I will see you guys next week. And remember, nerd and proud.